You may wind up pushing this person away. We have I love you, angry, betrayal, and reconciliation. Yeah, see, I feel like some of you are going to walk away from this person because you just feel like you can't trust them. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, it's like they do one thing and then have you believing that there's a possibility that you guys can work through this and then the next minute, they're gone. Pisces, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your message cards and let's see what the universe wants you to know. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? You have I love you. I'm not giving up on you. So these words are so faint. I'm not giving up on you, so don't give up on me. Okay, so someone is saying they love you. Pisces, who did y'all block? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, okay? I have no idea. I have no clue. All I know is this is so funny because this person's like, okay, now I love Pisces, but they're blocked. Some of you block this person and they can't talk to you, but they want you back. We have case of the ex. I miss you. Could we start over? All right, so someone is finally getting the message. Because you're standing your ground. So now what? So you're like now. Uh, okay. Let's see. Someone's finally getting the message, Pisces. Here, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? <laughs> yeah, this person was playing dumb at some point. Pretending not to know the truth. Doing anything to avoid the change. And taking responsibility for their actions. Taking accountability, rather, for their actions. So you block someone. And now this person's like, Pisces, I love you. Unblock me so we can talk. And I feel like you're like, stop playing dumb because I don't have time for you. All right. Spirit messages. Stand in your... The universe says stand in your power, Pisces. This person's stalking you. I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. We also have money, key magic. Money will flow effortlessly. A closed opportunity is now open. Some of you may be looking for a job. If so, it's going to come through. Some money is going to come through some sort of way, help. I don't know if it's, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. Maybe you apply for a loan or you're waiting for someone to, you know, uh, lend you money. It could be family or a bank, something here. Money's coming in for you. Okay. All right. Uh, cold shoulder so some of you wow this is why you're like i don't have some of you are like i don't have time for this right now you're giving someone the cold shoulder you have a lot going on in your life pisces for some of you and you're like either you're gonna help me handle whatever i'm dealing with or leave me alone you don't have time for it if you block this person and they can't look on your social media i feel like they're stalking you through someone else's phone some of you, I don't know if your page is blocked or you just blocked this per. I don't know if your page is private or you just blocked this person from being able to see what's on your page. But they're finding other ways to do it. Sarah, what messages do you have for Pisces? We have sneaky behavior on the internet. So some of you may have blocked this person because you know they're on the internet being sneaky or on social media. It says sneaky internet behavior could be hiding porn. They have a secret account or another relationship online. Somebody is burdened. They want your attention and they just want to... They want to understand, like, why you don't want to hear. Some of you are ignoring this person. Like, you cannot. Look how your cards are coming out. Don't want to hear it. Ignoring. Not understanding each other. Not getting along. Not talking. But I feel like some of you are like, fine. I don't care. I like it this way because I have a lot to do. So whatever you're doing is keeping you busy. And this person is getting jealous because they may feel like you're dealing with someone else. 
Oh, no wonder. Some of you got an interview coming up. So this is where the money is coming from. Okay. Take it how it resonates. You know, this is not going to be everyone's message. But for those of you who do got an interview coming up, I feel like you're going to get it because you have the money card here and you've been working really hard on something, trying to improve your life and your finances, trying to become more abundant. If you don't have an interview for a job, you have an interview for something. It may be a bank loan where you have to go talk to someone about getting money for a business. Oh. All right, so we have clap back. Not being this person's doormat anymore. Standing up for yourself. We have maybe. Maybe I'll talk to you. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm unsure. I'm indecisive. That's the energy and the attitude you're in right now because you're fed up with somebody. And this is the only way... Yeah, you fed up with somebody, Pisces, because they're a liar. And you're like, this is the only way you're going to understand that I am not playing games with you anymore. So you're giving someone the cold shoulder because they're a liar. Okay, you're fighting back. You're not just taking it anymore. And you're not sure. You're not sure if you're done with this person or not. You're like, I don't know. I got to I got to see. I feel like you're giving someone a uh, dose of their own medicine. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Social media, Instagram. There's something tied to social media here with this person. I don't know if you see them on social media doing something. Or when you're on there and they're on there, like their light is on, they see you, you see them, but then they ignore you. They don't say anything. They're talking to other people. They're posting. They're liking certain things that they you don't feel that they should be liking. Other pic people's pictures or something. They're reposting things. There's something going on here, and they're trying. I feel like somebody maybe even trying to make you jealous, but you don't care because you have other things going on in your life. Somebody may be trying to come back and kiss your ass because they see that you want alone time. You don't want to be bothered. I'm taking the time to be alone and balance my emotions. We also have blindsided, didn't see it coming. So there's something here that's going to blindside you with this person, whether it's them coming back around, them finding another way to reach out to you. But it's fed up. We have contemplation, miracles, and unexpected back together. Some of you don't expect to come back together with this person. Miracles are flowing into your life. Your angels are helping you resolve your check. I'm sorry. I read that all wrong. Miracles are flowing into your life. Your angels are helping you resolve your challenges in ways that will surprise you. Some of you are just tired of the conflict. You don't want to do it anymore. You're like, I don't have time for it. And you're not making time for it anymore. Some of you are not, um, like this person doesn't take precedence in your life anymore and they're realizing it. We have, unlike the rest, I love that you're different. They made a lot of bad choices. They effed up. Had to cover up that word down here. Yeah, this person effed up. They know it. They could be talking about you to someone else, like telling that person you're making them wait. Someone is talking behind your back. And we also have timing. Some of you feel like you're doing better without this person. We have set and shift. Can't move on and not talking. Even though you're not talking to this person right now, for those of you who are in separation, they haven't moved on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. And then we have sudden shift. Your current reality is shifting towards something very different from what you had anticipated. But some of you feel like I'm doing better without them. I don't need them. If you're thinking about reaching out to this person, it's like the universe may be sending you messages and downloads in some sort of way that's telling you, you know, wait for the right time. It's bad timing right now. This person hasn't changed. They haven't learned their lesson all the way. Like they're still going through this lesson. And the universe is saying, let them do it. Let them go through it. All right, 
let's get one more and then we're gonna jump into the tarot. Spirit, give me one more for Pisces. <laughs> All right, so we have missing you. Sit this out. I told you the universe is saying, okay, yeah, this person may miss you. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you, but I feel like this is somebody who manipulated the situation. They played a lot of games. Some of you took this person back before and you were mad at yourself for doing it. You were like, I don't want to keep taking you back. And then you don't change. So now you feel safer holding back and making this person wait. Yeah, they're exhausted. This is somebody who don't want to argue anymore. It's like they want to talk. We also have unsent messages and forever change. So some of you are actually changing this person and you don't even know. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. I've written you several text messages, but in the end, I chicken out. And someone just wants to talk so you guys can come to an understanding because they're exhausted. They don't want to keep fighting. They're done. Or at least they... Their intentions right now is being done with the back and forth with you. All right, Pisces. So let's get some tarot. Let's hear what messages do you have for Pisces. All right, that card just slid. Give me one second. All right, so we have the lovers. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. This could be your twin flame. That's watching you, Page of Swords. So what messages do you have for Pisces? The Chariot. All right, so they're ready to move forward. This somebody is going to tell you they know which direction they want to go in now. But it's because of the moves that you're making. It's because of the changes that you're implementing <laughs> towards this situation. Could be a Cancer here for some of you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. There's some change that is coming in, Pisces, and a lot of it. You have you don't even see the Ten of Pentacles is here for you. There's something that you don't see here that's coming in. We have the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles. You may get a new job or there's money coming in for you some sort of way. So if you're worried about something and you don't know how a situation is going to turn out and it has to do with money, it's coming in. You're going to be helped in some sort of way. So what messages do you have for Pisces? We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, with the Two of Pentacles, some of you don't know what you're going to do about a situation, but I see that it gets resolved. Look at that. Can't even make it up. You got the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So whatever it is that you're worried about, Pisces, here's the answer. It gets figured out. Now, if this is not a worry and you're just waiting to see if you get money for a loan or if you get a new job, the answer is yes with the nine of pentacles. You know, the nine of pentacles is all about financial security and abundance. Having everything that you need and then more. So whereas though you can help other people if you choose to. Somebody is wor somebody worried that you're done, that things are over. Could be a Libra or a Capricorn. We have the Five of Cups. They know they messed up really bad here. There's a lot of guilt and regret and remorse for how they treated you. We have the ten of I'm sorry, not the ten of cups, the knight of cups. You know, the knight of cups is um is movement. So some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. This person is coming towards you, but they are afraid, they are nervous. Because this is someone who fears rejection. And I feel like the reason why this person is fearing the rejection is because they know that they deserve to be rejected. All right, so we have success. So 
some of you are going to be successful because of a lot of hard work that you put into something, whether it's this relationship or something else. But the success is here. Like, you got the Six of Wands. You had the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Like, do I even need to go on with your reading, Pisces? I will, because I'm not going to stop just yet. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? The Four of Pentacles. The set of... Oh. I'm about to say the Sagittarius. Some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius that's still hanging on to you with the Knight of Wands and they're taking action. I don't want to say about to take action because Knights are movement. So it's like this person, um, either they reached out to you already or they're trying to find a way to reach out to you or you can expect a message from them very soon because we have two Knights here. One offering love and one taking action to make something happen here. I see Sagittarius and Scorpio energy a lot in this reading. And Three of Cups. For some of you, that card just slid right out of my hand. Oh, the Three of Swords. For some of you, this had to do with a third party situation. This person betrayed you. And this is why you're, you're done. You're focusing on work here with the Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to get your mind off of this. You don't want to think about it. Every time you think about it, it causes you to shut down and you may not get anything done because you just don't feel like it. I feel like some of you, your energy is low because you may be uh, a bit depressed. Maybe you're standing your ground with the Leo, but that's not going to keep this person away from you. They don't want to fight anymore and they're going to let you know it. The Five of Wands reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Fool. We have Aries energy and Leo energy here. Someone is going to tell you that they're following their heart when it comes to a situation. They may have somebody else that they live with, someone that they're married to. And I feel like even though they're with this person, they love you. But they try, they're trying to find a way. Somebody is trying to find a way out of something to come towards you. Yeah. With the Seven of Cups. They're trying to find their way out of a situation. Spare what messages do you have for Pisces? Sorry about the loud shuffle. I tried to take it away from the micro the microphone as much as I could. All right, so we have a three of pentacles. The death card. Yeah, this person knows that you on your way out the door because you you're like, I don't know if this can work anymore, but they're like, nope. Look at this, Pisces. Three of Pentacles, the Death card, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups with the Moon. Somebody is fighting for this. I just saw the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. And now we have the Six of Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Somebody is fighting for this relationship. Now, if they haven't started fighting their hardest yet, that's because you haven't actually left them. And they're they're hoping that you don't. But if you decide to end this situation with this person, here's the energy that's coming in. Because you're already guarded and you're like, I've been hurt so many times. I don't want to do this anymore. You're trying to figure it out, though, with the moon and the nine of wands. I feel like you're just asking yourself, is now the time to just move in a different direction? And I feel like this person, because of the way things are going, they already know that, you know, you're out the door. But they still feel like they have a chance to talk to you or figure it out, make something work here. We have Leo energy with the sun. Somebody may be realizing, like, Pisces is my happiness. Like, if I like let Pisces go, that's it. But I don't feel like they've realized that before, or they did, and they were taking the relationship for granted. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.